Hi, welcome to my new video. Got a few things that I'd like to go over. Uh, first of all, there's scripts that rely on other scripts. And we've got making a list box for items. Uh, yeah, you'll see what I mean when I get to it. But anyway. Let's get down to business. We'll attach cheat engine. You can see I've already filled in some of the addresses. And what we want to do is find out what access is. And we want it to access when we go to our top menu here. So we've got that instruction there, so we can stop that. Show disassembler. And we find out what that access is. We know that it's going to access what we just went to. But it will pull up all the other addresses for us. So it only accesses those two for now, but that's okay. So what we want to do, let that go. Okay, so now we've got a structure. So. By now you should know how to do all this, but uh, right. so we've got, this isn't always the case, but in this game it's pretty nice how it's done that for us. So what we can do here is AOB injection. Damn window will stay up. Okay. So what we want to do is allocate some spaces. For our players, and how we do that, uh, how we actually make use of these, is uh, uh, so we compare the word pointer. I believe it's EDX plus nine zero. And you've got to put this little thingy and spell it exactly as it is. Uh, D word can only do four characters. But that's okay because the first four characters are always unique with these guys' names. Do the same thing again. Okay, so we want. So that gives us our player base. We 
that should just about do it. Let's make sure. So we open our top menu, that will fill it in. So this will be a pointer. Ah. I forgot to register the symbols. So Don't forget to deallocate. Okay, re-enable the script. And we should be good to go. Don't know why it keeps going behind like that, but never mind. Okay, so you can see the addresses have been filled in. Our basic stats are around here. We've got uh, health, spirit chain, blast gauge, and I'm not even sure what that one is. I think it's just health cap, but yeah, it doesn't really matter at this point. So we can either add an offset here. And that will bring it up. Or we can add a new address like so and drag it so that it's underneath and it will automatically add the offset for us. name them if you want to. I mean, obviously for your final table you will want to name them. But for the purposes of this video it's not really that important. Because the nitty gritty is coming down to it. So what we want to do what we want to do now is get into a battle and work out what's writing to it. Actually we want we also want to access I'll show you why in a sec. Yeah my sword's all sticky cobwebs everywhere. I bet no one has set foot in here for some time. and get okay. your sword ready. Okay, so... Same weapon padding is a little friendly there. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, this is the one that we want. Okay, so... So we've got the pointers from the other one. Uh, we want EAX to compare. So we compare EAX with Pointer. Uh, we're going to have to put these brackets around it. Just leave that there for now. So it's not that. Yeah, so we want it to just jump. Yeah, why not put one hit kills in as well while we're here? separate that all together problems there. Ah, access violation is serious. Okay, and I have to just save this to somewhere and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and I've added the one hit kill I guess you could call it a variable here and you get your sword ready um, ready no now when you're doing infinite health in this method, you really have to make sure that these pointers are filled in 
beforehand. Otherwise it's going to compare that and it's not going to be equal. So we want it, if it's not equal, it jumps to the next guy. And if it's not equal, then it just jumps to this next part. And then if that's not equal, then it jumps here, which deducts the health. Otherwise, if it is equal here, it's going to put zero, and then finish off the code. And if it is equal up here, then it's just going to skip that and go straight to there. So, we'll just stand back and get hit. There we are getting hit. There's our infinite health. And you can see our enemy is dying a bit. Okay, so we move on to the other one that I wanted to show. Uh, let me just put the right offset here. Yep, that's the one, that's our spirit chain. Okay, so... Find out what access is that. And... I believe it is... Yeah, it's the top one. So, we go here. It's... Uh, it's getting the value from somewhere. I couldn't fully work out exactly where it's getting set. But, all we need to know is, this is the one, this line is the one that's doing all the work. So we can just manipulate our address beforehand. And... Okay, what I like to do... Do this. So. Oh, spirit chain. Okay, so we can. Zero by float one hundred. Okay, we can do that. And you see just down there that it stays full the whole time. It's always full. No matter what you do. However, in this game, and I'm sure this applies to other games as well, uh, all right, we also want to separate that the same way that we do our health. As I was saying in this game, when that gets lower, you do more damage. 
but you also take more damage but we have infinite health so who cares about that but what we want to do Now this will come in handy for other games, no doubt. When you want to manipulate something such as this. So, we bring up our health sheet. Save us a bit of typing. Okay, so we just need to change that. Oh okay, no, it's still EAX. We don't need to jump on that last one. It won't accept the jump anyway because it's right there. So what we want to do up here is set it to a value. to do here because it won't allow us to do this because we can't have that in brackets and that in brackets so So that's going to, by default, 25 in a float value into Spirit, which will then get moved to ECX, which will then get moved to here, and then this code will load it. Oh, I spelled something wrong here. There. So, add the address, uh, spirit, make sure it's a float, and there you have it, 25, so, instantly, 25%, change that to 50, Changes it to 50. Alright, and just to show the one hit kills work, and it's nearly dead now anyway. That's this baby, change that to 1, and it's dead. Okay, so now we can move on to the items. Hell yes! I really should have gone a bit further in this. But never mind that now. Okay. So we have... Two 
too many windows. Anyway, so we've got this address for the apple gel, which I believe is now the wrong address. Yes, it is. Bear with me one sec, I'll get that address. Okay, so now I have that address again. We want to see what access is it. Okay, nothing there. So we have to go into our items list. And still nothing. Okay, I think my debuggers are playing up a bit. But I'll get it eventually. There we are. So, this is a little bit of a tricky one. So it's moving EAX plus ECX times 4 into EAX. When you look at the more info, so ECX is 2D9. So if we do that, 2D9. Okay, times 4, we end up with B64. So, what we're dealing with here is a lot of items. Now, this is a long and tedious process, so I'm not going to go over it step by step. Like, this is basically how you find every address. Uh, you go here, show disassembler, and find out what accesses, or what addresses this code accesses. Alright, and then you come along. Uh, what did I do? I just closed it. But yeah. <laughs> you just add them to your list. Add something to it. And you find a new item. And via process of elimination, you can weed out the addresses that don't do anything. As I said, it's a very long and tedious process. But what we want to do on here I like to camera case everything. It's just nice and tidy. Okay, so Allocate Okay So we're going to register everything as well
say. Might as well set this up. Doesn't matter what number you put in that. Now, I just want to move. To that, that would give us our base. Pretty easy, hey? Right, so now that we've got that, we'll add pointer item base. see it's filled in but the offset is going to be remember the brackets it won't work if we don't use the brackets and we want to add Yes, we can get away with just doing that. Okay, so this is a selected item, and this is our item value. So I'm just going to copy a pre-prepared list that I had because uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a very very large list as you can see On the left side, we have the value that we want to put in, and then a colon, and then just for our sake, so we know what it is, it's there, so you just tick off these boxes. Now, because we're dealing with offsets, it needs to be in hex, so when we say apple gel look at that let's put five of them here's the address I had before for comparison it's the exact same and that reflects in here just to be certain that it works Let's go to, let's see, we'll get the alternate colour Shepherd's outfit. This is where I wanted to be in there. And there you have it. Alrighty, well that about covers everything for here. Uh, there are other things that I'd like to show, but I'll save that for another day. Anyway, be sure to check out the links in the description if you're unsure of how to get to this stage. Uh, I'll show you, well, I won't show you, I'll just point you in the right direction on where you can learn how to get to this stage.
and yeah, thanks for watching.